Shabbat Shalom. I want to share a word today that the Lord put on my heart. I want to talk about the glory and the goodness of the Most High. Even when his chosen ones are in storm, how he delivers us, how he raises us up, how he exposes our enemies and those who oppose him and his law and his will. I want to talk about narcissists and psychopaths and sociopaths and jealousies and such. And no, I'm not just going to be talking about things I've seen in this world. We can line it up with scripture as well. Glorifying the most high as we go. One of the things I want to address, I had somebody ask me, uh, why do you wear makeup? Why do you wear lipstick? And I recognize the question was a setup for judgment. There may be a lot of people who you look at my outer appearance and you have questions. When the Lord met me, I wasn't trying to be anything but me. He did not meet me and decide I'm not going to talk to you today because you got on lipstick. When he showed me visions of angels and heavenly things, he didn't tell me to wash my face. And for those who sit in judgment, because that's where the question comes from. I'm not trying to teach you to do right or do wrong. Okay. Uh, I've done a lot of things and he still picked me. I've done a lot of things. I've smoked cigarettes. I've drank. Um, I've done a lot of things in my lifetime. Many of which the Lord does help me clean up. But he did not skip me where you may not have picked me. I did not pick myself. And when he showed me visions and told me what to do, one of the things I knew, it wasn't about me. It was about the body. But just so you know, when you try to sit in judgment of the Lord's servants, you judge by the outer appearance. But his word tells you, Yahuwah judges by the heart. So if he picked me to do whatever he picked me to do, and you have questions about it, whether you understand it or not, you are not questioning me. I'm just earth and ashes here today, gone tomorrow. I'm like a vapor, okay, a flower in the garden a leaf on a tree. I hang for now and pretty soon me you shall not see. But he who is, was, and shall always be. That's who you're questioning. And when you question any of his chosen ones, remember, you may think you're questioning the flesh of that person. But what you're truly questioning, who you're truly questioning, is the most high. Why'd you pick them? Why well, I feel and listen here now. He don't tolerate no rivals. He don't. He he he's a jealous Yahoo. Who you you questioning what he don't? You see, Samuel. The Lord told the prophet Samuel who we about to talk about. You know, man judges by the outer appearance. Some men think why that woman. That's a woman. And they got a chauvinistic mind. The Lord ain't chauvinistic. You might think he is. No, he's not. He do what he do because he can do what he do. How does the clay question the pot? How that? How does that which is created question the creator? What you doing? Why you make it this way? I feel this though, black, black, blue. You don't know his ways are unsearchable and past finding out. But we're going to talk about it. Just a minute. Just a minute. I know I got to stand before the throne of judgment. And and I, I, it, it true mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Because yes, I have sinned. We have sinned. Let the blood of the lamb be upon us. Let the blood of the lamb be upon us. But let me say this about that. I don't think you're going to be my advocate when I'm standing for the judgment throne. 
I'm not even going to try to sneak in on the side and argue nobody's case because it's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. He said, them and them only, yes, Lord. I'm 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 trying to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. I'm just saying. So when you sit in judgment, you sitting like you equal to my father. You better be careful. It's a terrifying thing. Fall into the hands of the most high. And may he have mercy on you and open your eyes so that you understand. It is by his grace and his mercy that any of us are here today. Brothers and sisters, I want to share the screen because as I stated before, I wanted to talk about those narcissists, those psychopaths, oh yes, those sociopaths, those people who are, some of them walking in, in the Lord's house. Remember now, he starts in his own house. That clean up starts in his house. But you see, there are people in this world they got a whole lot of something. But the only thing they want you to have is a whole lot of nothing, even while they got a whole lot of something. For every dollar they got, you can have a penny and they want that too. And man, they can't even focus on their dollar because your little penny, your little shiny penny is too much for them to know that you have because of what that penny can do. Lord, help us all. What you talking about? I'm going to help you out, brothers and sisters. When I was talking about some people with the woman thing, just, just to go back a pace, and I praise you, Father, this day for, for dropping this knowledge, Lord, for giving me this knowledge. Some of this, I got it up on the screen. I'm going to try to cover a lot of things you put on my heart. Lord, help me. Help me. Bless my tongue. Bless the tongue of my spirit. Bless the tongue of my mind and the tongue of my body that we may give all praise, honor, and glory to you and build up the body. Build the body for we're all dependent on one another, and I hit is your word. All praise, glory, and honor, this day and forevermore, in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, Lord. Now, we are in the book. When we look at, forgive me, judges, this is for those who think the female, okay? Samson's mother, the angel of the Lord came to Samson's mother twice. She had to call her husband so that the angel could tell him what he told her. So much so that they offered to feed the angel, questioning in their minds. They, they, they didn't really know if this was angel. Hey, they put up an offering, and the angel jumped in the fire and sent it up to heaven. What is my point? The angel went to a woman. So if you think Yahuwah is uh, chauvinistic the way this world teaches chauvinism, I would beg to differ, beloved. If he was as chauvinistic as many people think, Gabriel would have never spoke to Mary. No, he wouldn't. Oh, Lord have mercy. He might have went and checked out Joseph first if he was chauvinistic. And it's it, again, I don't question anything Yah does. I think it's a blessed and glorious thing. Yah chooses man to be his priest. I believe because Yah said it, he made the perfect choice. But when he touches others, men, women, children, even babies, child, even babies, they'll tell it to you now. Woo, wait a minute. I'm not going to sit back and judge who he chose. That was his business. So if you think because she wear lipstick or she's a she and not a he, well, you're sitting up there trying to level up with the one that sit high and look low, who is, was, and shall always be. It's a, it's a dreadful thing. If he look back at you, woo, Lord, help us all. I'm asking for mercy, Lord, because I we know not what we do. They know not. Yeshua HaMashiach said it. They know not what they do. We do things to one another. We say things to one another. And we know not what we do. And I pray for mercy on every one of us. Because we need it. In our ignorance. In our anger. In our bodaciousness. In our jealousy. In our vanity. In our why you and not me. Or why me and not you. 
Whew. Mercy, Father, and thank you if it was not for your mercy. Yes, yes, yes. He's coming back for us for his great name. And because of his mercy, because of his covenant, it's nothing we did. Ain't no bragging or boasting, honey. Please, Lord, help us all. Woo. Let me finish. I'm talking about there are people, especially chosen ones, you, you, to say that the furnace has met you, to say that you have walked a rocky road. Lord, help us all. Mm, mm, mm. It's a story there. You know what's deep? People want you to go through crap. And then because it's something to be said about how you were brought out, they want the story to be their own. They want to lie on you. They put you, they, they want you to be the bad guy. They want you to be the good bad guy or the bad good guy. But how they go, you, you got to be, we, we want you to be the bad guy. How do I make you the bad guy? Even your good going to be evil spoken of. Chosen one. Come on, come on. But see. We know to whom we belong. Okay, wait a minute now. I'm just going into about these. I mean, people that got everything that want to take the little thing and the nothing you got and squish it down some more. We looking at First Samuel. You know, Elkanah, this man Elkanah, he had two wives. He may have had more, but we're talking about his two wives. The first one's name was Panina. And he gave Panina his wife. He, when he was going up, they were going up to worship the Lord, first of all. Let's get the picture. Panina know we going to the house of the Lord to worship. Elkanah going to the house of the Lord to worship. Elkanah, they went, he gave to Panina his wife and to all her sons and daughters, portions. So she's got sons and daughters as well, hmm. portions. But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. Okay, she's the other wife. And her adversary, Kanina, provoked her sword to make her fret, stress, cry. Okay, because the Lord had shut up her womb. Here's this woman. You got sons and daughters. You going up to the house of the Lord. Who? Panina. She been blessed. She ain't walking around feeling the shame of being barren. And they go into the house of the Lord. But look at where her mind is. She's stressing and making Panina feel bad because she don't have no children. Instead of going up to the Lord's house with a good heart, with a thankful heart that I have sons and daughters. And this woman has none. Let me be a comfort and tell her what the glory and the power of what the Lord can do. Because I've talked to women that want kids and had none. And tell them about the power of the Lord. He can do anything he wants. He can do anything he wants. If you look at Elizabeth, she was old. If you look at Sarah, she was old. If you look at how Mary carried Yeshua on the ship and how he came about, whew, we know what the Lord can do. What's impossible for man with the Lord, all things possible. But Lord, help me, God. This one is stressing the other one out. She got everything. The one other one looked like she got nothing. And even that she wants to take away. I don't even want you to have peace while I walk around with my sons and daughters. She had enough of everything to where she could have just left that woman alone. But mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you see, people like to attack the chosen. They see that light. There had to have been something in Hannah that truly was not in Panina. Because when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, one of the greatest prophets, Samuel, came through Hannah. And the Lord, after she dedicated him to the Lord, the Lord gave her three more sons and two daughters. Can you imagine people when they used to go see Samuel, they came trembling because Lord, they didn't want, they knew Samuel's words didn't fall to the ground. Samuel was visited by the spirit of the Lord when he was still a little boy. Lord wasn't even talking to Eli because he wasn't living right, wasn't running his house right, but he spoke to Samuel and the people knew about it. Can you imagine Panini? 
when Hannah came by, knowing that's her son sitting up there in the house of the Lord. The Lord will redeem his beloved. Yes, 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 he will. He redeems his beloved. Oh, yes, he does. You know, there's another story in the book of Esther where Haman, he's by the king, he's being glorified, he's got all his position and might by the king. And yet, because Mordecai, Esther's uncle, won't bow to him, won't reverence him, Haman, with all that he had, looked at one. And not only wanted his life, decided he wanted to kill all his people. You going to reverence me. We have people in our lives that with all they have, if they can't get you, they ready to take out everything around you because you won't bow to them. You are bowing, praising, honoring, glorifying, following the most high. They are not but they want to take you out. It gets so deep, they might want to come at your family. You got people, narcissists, psychotics, and, and the like. I'm going to poison your children's mind. I'm going to make it uh, say things about your husband, say things about your wife, say things about your girlfriend and this and that, your reputation and such. Uh, they want destruction. Never knowing that the trap they set for you is the exact one they getting ready to fall into. It happened in the book of Daniel. You they, they, they put Daniel in the lion's den. Haman set up gallows, his wife and friends is telling him that's what you do. But them same mouths was hanging up there with him when the time came for judgment. Okay. Touch not mine anointed beloved. And to bring it all home, we're watching right now this situation going on in France. France is going crazy because they murdered a 17-year-old boy, Niel. And these police in France, they have been known for murdering Blacks and people of color. He is, if I have it right, he's out of Northeast Africa. He was 17 years old. They have it on tape. Just murdered this boy in cold blood. And France is just on fire. Them, them young folks ain't backing up. As a matter of fact, they're referencing George Floyd. They're referencing what happened with George Floyd. And you see what these heathens don't understand. There is a lion amidst the other animals that has been sleeping. There is a lion in this world that has been sleeping, okay? What do I mean? You know, when you think of a human lion, a lion will sleep up to 20 hours a day. 20 hours, beloved, a day, okay? 20 hours. But you see, it is while you're sleeping, we as chosen ones, while you're sleeping, while you're hidden away, while you appear to be unaware, Growth is happening. The body's growing. Let's say the body of the Most High's children is growing. It's strengthening. The mind is putting things together. You ever hear the statement, let's sleep on it tonight. I'm trying to figure this out. Why don't you sleep on it? And by the time the morning comes, Ain't no need to worry what the night is going to bring. Because when the morning comes, this thing, it'll be all over. It'll come together for you. You understand? While you're sleeping, there's growth going on. There's not just physical growth, mental growth. Things are being sorted out. Spiritual growth. The Lord can speak to you in a dream. While you're sleeping, growth is going on. Well, the lion is sleeping up to 20 hours. The human lion, when he roars, his roar can be heard over five miles wide around him. Can you imagine if you're standing right in front of this lion? Jesus Christ, ain't nothing going to back him up. You, you, you die from fright before he even get to you. Well, you got this thing breaking out in France. It's breaking out in France. Okay. And it's fitting 
the book of second Baruch, the beginning of commotions. I'm trying to shrink me out of the way over here. Bear with me. Okay. Is Baruch is talking to the Lord about when these times, the end of the nate, the heathens rules. What are the signs that this thing is going to finish? Okay. Hmm. It talks about if we're right here, Second Baruch chapter 27, and you can read it for yourself, look it up. In the first part, the beginning of commotions, my, 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 my. If you look at the videos of what's going on in France, this is the fourth day. As a matter of fact, they murdered that boy on Tuesday. His funeral was supposed to be the day. They're trying to shut down all public transportation. They're trying to get this thing under control because it's just, they can't stop it. OK, and they're referencing George Floyd, like what's going on over here? This racism, the fact that these police are targeting blacks, uh, people of African descent and people of color. No, 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 no. You're not going to dismiss it as we got to investigate. They got it on tape. Shot that boy. Point blank range. Yes, Lord. Whoop. What you see is lining up. Let me I don't know why they did that. In the first part, the beginning of commotion, okay, okay. In the second part, the slaughtering of the great. In the third part, the fall of many unto death. In the fourth part, the drawing of the sword. It's when people just killing each other, okay. And it goes on and on, but I wanted to talk about the beginning of commotion because what you see is when it gets to the end of this statement, it tells you, all right, in the 12th part, disorder and a mixture of all that has been before. These, all these parts are going to start mixing together. The fall of fire. Some people, well, I don't know how you fall. Lightning, lightning starts fires. Rape, much violence, injustice. Lord have mercy, we live in just lawlessness, unchastity. Now the only thing that's looked upon as being bad is if you don't agree with what's wrong. That's bad. What's good is bad. If you don't go with what's bad, that's bad. When you say truth is a lie, you good. When you say the lie is a lie, that's bad. It's unchastity. It's the wicked walk. It done hit off. Okay, wait a minute. Disorder and a mixture of all. When we see a multitude of ghosts and the appearance of demons, we got demons coming out of people. Come on now. Woo. Don't you know when the chosen one get around? It, it rattles people. Demons, they get to acting crazy. They get to doing, it's like, wait a minute. They start doing crazy stuff. Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about the beginning of commotions, beloved, all over the world. All of this is supposed to go on all over the world. Now, why is she saying that? Why is she talking about lions? I'm going to get into Micah chapter 5. We're going to do verses 7 through 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord and as showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest and as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who, if he go through, both both treaded down and tariff to pieces and none can deliver. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop it. Nobody. Beloved, you know, that lion, that lion that they speak of from the tribe of Judah, okay, that lion, that lion is waking up, beloved. And he's waking up all over the world. Yes, 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 he is. It's that lion. You see, that lion there, as long as he was sleep scattered amongst all these nations, if he can't do nothing, but that lion is waking up. And the roar of the chosen ones, when that lion roars out of us, it is that spirit of truth coming out of us, that no one can ignore the sound of our voices, nor the power of our courage, because we don't turn back. 
what you are seeing in France, they're referencing not only what happened with George Floyd, but how it went all over the world. The beginning of commotions. Now, Book of Micah talks about it. When we go to the Book of Revelation, and we look at the line from the tribe of Judah, the ultimate line. Who's that? Yeshua HaMashiach. That sword, that two-edged sword that comes out of his mouth. That's what he destroys the nations with that have gone against him. And yet, it's the sword that comes out of his mouth. Ooh, the line from the tribe of Judah. But we, beloved, are little lions who have been sleeping amongst the nations where we have been scattered. And I told you, during the time a lion sleeps, just like any other human being or thing, growth happens while you're sleeping. Some of us, as we talk about the awakening, think about it, put it together, that time when we were sleeping, oh, it was being worked out. We had to sleep on. Okay, the knowledge is running through. Okay, the growth is occurring. People wonder why do a baby sleep so much? Why do children sleep so much? Particularly by the time they hit puberty, they be running around, then all of a sudden this child sleeping all the time, or it could be a young man, young woman, they going through a rapid growth spurt. I knew a young man, he was 25. I didn't even know at that age you could do a growth spurt. He started sleeping all the time. And then the next thing you know, he grew like three inches. He was already tall, but he grew three inches. He, he grew three inches in, I don't know, a month and a half or so. That line that sleeps up to 20 hours a day. Spiritually growing, mentally growing, physically growing and strong, even in their rest. But now that line is waking up. It's going on all over the world. When we look at the story of Hannah, Samuel's mother, she was a sleeping lioness. All that was in her, all that Yahuwah was going to do with her and through her to her. Panina didn't know you are bringing your own downfall instead of being grateful and thankful for what you got. You got sons and daughters right now. This woman, bear, you won't grieve her, not knowing the plans he has for his beloved. Now you got to walk past this woman who's got sons, who's working in the house of the Lord while you did evil walking on your way to the house of the Lord. Here's Haman who's planning the demise not only of Mordecai, but all the people. And he ends up dead. Here's the one who tried to put Daniel, who had Daniel in the lion's den. Yes, 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 yes. Because Daniel's giving glory and honor to the most high, all deserving praise and honor. Mm. But you put a little lion in there with the rest of the lions. They recognize their own. And when the most high said, don't you open your mouth. That's the pride of the lion. We know who that is. Spirit, no spirit. Kind, no kind. Like, no light. Face, no face. Face sharp and face iron, sharp and iron. When he went in down in there with the lions, he was a lion amongst his own. But you see, when that evil one that tried to cause him to be destroyed went down there, what this? He did the bones of that one and his family. They didn't even make, they didn't even hit the ground for the lions had them. Ripping, tearing, chopping, chewing, swallowing. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> In the jungle, baby, the mighty jungle. This lion ain't sleeping no more. The lions are waking up. Look at what's going on in France. I did not pull up the video. And they keep referencing what happened over here where Judah lives with George Floyd. And they not backing up. They're referencing these are not the UN and United Nations are like, you need to deal with your racism. Let me tell you something. When you think about the horde of, of, of Babylon, Remember them heads started turning, 
tell it on it, tell it on it. They trying to keep the men over something they cannot have. The time is up. Time is up. And you're seeing it all over the world. And they're referencing what started right here in Judah that touched the whole world because the roar has gone out and the other lions are waking up. The other lions are beginning to roar and they're not listening. So the lion don't back up from the and the greatest one, the firstborn of the dead, Yeshua HaMashiach, he's going to destroy all those nations with that sword that comes out of his mouth when that lion roars. That's his roar. We got that same sword, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto the Most High, recognizing that that which we see is not necessarily that which is going to be. What do I mean? The faith, the, the, the just live by faith and not by sight, calling those things which are as though they, which are not as though they are because they shall be, okay? We speak it into existence, decreeing and declaring, we woke for love. This is a word, this is a word, because whether you're under attack as a people, a nation, it's going on all over the world and them lions are waking up and roaring and they're not taking any wooden nickel. They're not backing up. You can't scare a lion. They're courageous. They just keep coming. And the book of Micah talk about chapter five. It's a word. Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory, asking that you bless us and keep us, lift us up our heads above our enemies. As a matter of fact, I was reading it. Forgive me. Forgive me. I want to get it out of the book of First Samuel because it was so beautiful. This is Panina, Hannah, glorifying God, glorifying him. Woo! She's glorifying him after she had found out that she was carrying her son. She worshipped him. Okay. Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemy. There's enemies that they, 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 their mouth is a terrible, it's a graveyard. Their mouth's a graveyard. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. I rejoice because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our Yah. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a Yah of knowledge, and by him actions are weak. The bowls of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. I'm going to skip around in this. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. I'm moving around. I'm in chapter 2, 1 Samuel. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. Woo, let me take it, let me take it. For by strength shall no man prevail. You see, these people think it's going to be by strength. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The law. He maketh rich and he maketh poor. Come on. Wait a minute. Woo. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Beloved, irregardless of what you're going through, how bad it looks and how many enemies you got, that's a sign of you being anointed. That's a sign that he knows, and it's not over. It's not over. He's setting them down up just to knock them down, okay? Woo, woo, woo. You got some people, when they talk about Bilal, these people are demonic, devilish, worthless people, okay? But I wanted to share that because... I, it just felt so good. I, I I wanted to go there to Hannah and just praise the Lord with her. Just praise the Lord with her. Because I know about people, men and women, 
that even when they got so much and you got so little, they want the little that you have because why? That little light of yours is shining, shining, shining. And no matter how much they got, their darkness covers everything and they want to dim your beautiful light. But y'all's not going to let it happen. He's not going to let it happen. The lions are woke, beloved. Hear they woke. It is word giving honor, glory, and praise unto Yah, thankful for all that thou has given us. Whether we have one and they have ten, thank you for the one you have given, Lord. Thank you. Glory, hallelujah. Let the food on the table be blessed for everything you make is good. Let the clothes on our back give you honor, Father. Thank you for giving us covering and shelter. Thank you for our health. Thank you for our healing, Father. Thank you for you, for your word that sustains and cleanses us. Thank you, glory, hallelujah, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your mercy and remembering your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory, hallelujah, all praise and honor unto you, the one, the only true God. There is none other, Father, and you are deserving of all glory, all praise, all honor. Lord, I feel your spirit, Lord, Lord, I feel your spirit, glory, hallelujah. Bless us, Father, be merciful to our sins, wake us up, take us up, bring us home, and cast down these our enemies that they never rise again, for they are your enemies, they give you no honor and no glory, bring us home, and have mercy on those of us who follow you, and try to make it in, Father, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and cleanse us. Yes, Lord, thank you for this day that you have made that we have lived to enjoy it with you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, all praise, honor, and glory unto the great Adonai Ayahuwah. Amen. Beloved, Shabbat Shalom, a word.